Today I am releasing a new integration for the e-framework and I will guide you how to run it on your own data. You will be able to use more performant open source fault detection than the one I released a couple of weeks ago. Here is a quick comparison. This is our dear care 3D seismic project with previous network. And this is a new one. Pretty big improvement, right? Quick message from Geoplot AI. It is a commercial product for geoscientists that have an advanced fault detection. Our customers receive a set of pre-trained networks and have the ability to inject their unique understanding with transfer learning. Give it a try at the link below. My name is Ruslan and you are on the channel for teaching about machine learning in oil and gas. A quick recap. The fault detection network is integrated into the e-framework which is built to democratize the use of machine learning applications in our industry. The credit for the fault detection network that we'll be integrating here today goes to Yu Ming Do. He released it on GitHub as a supplementary part of the research paper. Efficient training of 3D seismic fault segmentation network under sparse labels by weakening anomaly annotation. Thanks to the authors for making it public. All right, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to find the data that we'll be using for our tutorial. Let's take, for example, Perihaiko 3D dataset. But there is a problem. Segi IO implementation that I use for reading Segue files does not read it directly, maybe because of some missing traces of other things. So I needed to import Segue file into the commercial software and export it with correct geometry. If you are new to the channel and you don't know how to use e-framework on your computer, then follow my previous video about the framework so that you would understand how to install it and get it running. We are running Streamlit app in here. We are seeing the welcome page, but we need to go to the import seismic tab. Let's copy the path to the segway file, pasting it in this field, waiting a second to read the file through, and we are seeing it's been imported correctly. We see visualization in here as well as the spectrum frequency plot. Let's go into the app itself, FaultNet. At the top you would see the references to the paper and GitHub account that I used to develop this integration. Then you would see a video of me talking about this paper as well as the GitHub implementation. In order to get this integration running, we need to install third-party dependencies. And then we need to clone the FaultNet repository into the e-framework. And you would see the progress starting in your terminal with the progress bar. And after cloning, you can take a look into the folder. Going into geophysics folder, fault, fault net. And it's here that everything is all right. So let's go back to the app. Let's close the sidebar. And if you want to crop the data, you can do it in here. But let's leave it as it is right now. Let's take the full volume. All right, so it's been loaded into the RAM. And we can now go into the fault prediction. There are a few weights available for us to play around with. Let's take the first one and start the calculation. I hope it's not going to take a long time because we've taken the full volume in here. It's one hour. So it's been updated and it's one minute left. It's going to be very quick. And everything is finished right now. Let's take a look at the results. Result seems okay, so we have the faulting in inline, in x-line direction. The faulting looks reasonable. Let's save the data in segway format. Let's put it here, the folder name and the file name is Parihaka in here. Okay, we need to wait until the volume is saved. After that, you would see a file in your folder with that name that you've provided. And here I've imported the volume into the commercial software. The fault predictions are clean enough and there is not much of a noises in the prediction. Of course, the results can be further be improved, but at least that's open source software that you can play around with on your own data without getting a license from the commercial vendors. Once you're on the lookout for the open source and more solutions to play around with. I have previously released an integration that implements the latest machine learning random noise removal from seismic images. Check it out in here.